Okay, this morning I got a really cool out-of-body experience to New York City. And the aliens have taken me to New York City many, many, many times, at least five or six in the past, you know, ten years or whatever. And, um, and I was asking them, like, I was rambling off some cities or whatever, like two or three days ago. And so it's, it's funny. And I think I did ramble off New York City or whatever. I was just rambling off some, you know, cities. And, um... So this morning, here is how it went down. I mean, it was like so freaking cool. But it's starting to fade away uh, kind of fast. That's why I was like, okay, I need to hurry up and talk about it. Because it's starting to fade away. But that other one I just had a few days ago, which was like to, uh, it was to Kansas City, except, um, it was really like I was going into Clinton, which is, you know, in between. But anyway, I, that one, like, I remember every single thing in that half. That experience was several days ago. But yeah, some experiences, like, you never forget any details and other experiences. They'll fade away kind of fast. So you need to hurry up and, you know, write it down or something. But, um, okay, so here's how it went down for whatever reason me and my mom my sister uh my brother wasn't there it was just like me mom and my stepdad okay me mom stepdad and my sister okay so we were taking a trip we drove in the truck but that wasn't part of the scenario so it's like we drove in his old 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 truck to new york city and we weren't in, you know, I had um, thoughts. Like when I was in New York City, I had thoughts of the boroughs and stuff. And as far as I remember, I did have some glimpses of some of the boroughs. But we didn't go to any of the boroughs. We were in right smack dab in the city of New York City. Where, uh, you know, I don't know, There's, I'm sure there's certain areas, you know, that have names. I know, I guess one of them is called Manhattan or whatever. Like that's not one of the boroughs. That's just smack dab New York City. And then some other areas or whatever. But anyway, we were smack dab in New York City. And, uh, okay, so basically, okay, so we just, it started off, like I say, we were just like in the middle of like several roads. We were, we were like, uh, in the truck. Now, I don't know how we all fit in there, but we were all in there somehow, like me, my mom, sister, and dad, and my dad was driving. And we were smack dab it was, it was sunny, it was sunny, and it looked, um, it seemed to be like, right when the scenario started, it seemed to be about noon, and, um, it was sunny, and, uh, and, well, I'll pretend like we were, we were, like, heading north, you know, on, on these, on these, like, there were several roads, I mean, several streets that were just smack dab, you know, in the city, several streets, and we were on just, like, in the middle of one of the streets or whatever, in the truck. And we had stopped. I mean, there was like cars everywhere, cars. And I looked at all the buildings. There was buildings, buildings, buildings everywhere, cars everywhere, people everywhere walking around. And, and like I say, this was all virtual reality, virtual reality, OBE, lucid dreaming. And um, so when I looked over to my left, I saw a school and I was like, wow. And I saw, you know, like some students walking around. But yeah, so I was observing the school and, and I was, I had these thoughts like, wow, I'm in such a big city, but it's really, it's no different than being in any city, you know, because big cities are just a bunch of small cities put together or whatever. And I just remember, you know, I was thinking like, wow, it's really not much different living in a big city compared to a smaller city, if you know what I mean. And I had those thoughts and, uh. So then, like I said, I was observing the school. The school was, uh, it looked kind of older, you know? It was older and about two stories, two or three stories high. It was older and it was um, about, I don't know, like a hundred, I don't know, two hundred yards wide or whatever. Um, and like I say, it looked older and kind of like old whitish bricks. And, um, 
Okay, so so then we started like like drop and then well and then after I started observing everything and all the people and all the cars and trucks and, and the buildings, I actually don't really remember seeing a bunch of tall, 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 tall buildings, which I, I should have. I just remember seeing, uh, you know, a bunch of more like lower buildings, like like the school, and but just massive amounts of people and cars on the roads and crap, and um. And um, the energy of the scenario, um, it definitely felt like New York City, and um, it felt, uh, you know, like I was in a different dimension. It didn't feel like 3D. It felt like I was in a different dimension. And uh, I don't know why he whimpers all the time. Simba. But it's really cute. Okay, yeah, so that's why I got here for talking about this before. It's like fading away. Because it happened many hours ago this morning. And okay, so anyway, so then we started driving. So my dad started driving finally down the road. And he started going really fast. I mean, like really, really fast. And just kind of swerving in and out of cars. Like swerving, 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 swerving. And just barely, I mean, nicking, you know, the right, the right bumpers of the cars. And I was just like, wow. And I was like kind of all scared and shit. And um, I mean, we were just millimeters like of, you know, when we were, he was driving down the road really fast after I started observing all the buildings, when he started driving down the road, the truck, the color of the truck too was like lightish, brownish, tannish. So my dad's never had a truck like that, but it was older. And when I looked in the back, there was all sorts of shit in the back, which in real life, my dad kind of has some stuff in the back of the truck. There, it was full of, I don't know, it was like gas cans and shit like that in the back of his truck and like boards. And um, when I looked in the back of the truck, it was filled full of crap. But in real life, he's, you know, he's not a hoarder. He does have some stuff back there, but in real life, it's not that bad. And um, so basically, we were facing north. And then, um, like I say, I, um, you know, I kept looking to, to the left as my dad was driving along north, like really fast. And he was just like, well, he wasn't really swerving in and out of the lanes. He was just going so fast that he was just trying to, you know, it's almost like, like in Mexico, you know how they don't really drive in a complete straight lines or whatever. It was kind of like that. Like he wasn't really swerving in and out of lanes, but he was going so fast. He still kind of had to dodge all these cars that weren't, that weren't like driving in a complete straight lines. And he just kept going really fast. And I was like all scared and I was looking over to my left and I was just like, wow, 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 wow. And so this part was like, it was really fun actually, but it was kind of scary. And I just kept seeing how he was just barely missing the right, you know, the right bumper of the, of the cars when he was just kind of like dodging them, like bam, 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 bam. And that was really fun. Okay. So, uh, then, um, we, we, we um, ended up, uh, I, 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 okay, well, okay, um, I remember going into, like, a little pub, um, at one point, yeah, like, I was in a little pub, and the, the, uh, what did the people ask? Oh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, they were, like, asking, like, why are you here, and I was just, like, we're, we were going, we're here, for, you know, for, for, for a vacation, and I told them what town, you know, I lived in. And like I said, I told him um, that, oh yeah, he asked me like if my family was with me and I said yes. And um, damn it, I mean, there's some other things um, I said, but it was basically, I said that we were just there for, we, 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 we were on vacation, which we were. And, and it was just all men, there was four or five men like in the pub, workers or whatever. And they were just asking me some questions and stuff, but I didn't actually, I don't remember sitting down and eating or, or anything like that. Okay, um, but I can't remember if that was before or after. Uh, for whatever reason, I, um, my dad drove me to this uh, woman's house. And um, she was familiar in the scenario, but now I can't remember who she was. But um, she was familiar. And, um, and so I was walking through her apartment. But it was a very big apartment. It almost seemed like a house. And I was like, wow, this is an apartment. But... I know I didn't verbalize that. I was just thinking that in my head. I was like, it seems like a house though. And um, I was walking along the side, uh, 
or down the hallway and over to the left was like a refrigerator and it had all these magnets. And I was like, wow, she likes to do what I do, put a bunch of magnets like on her refrigerator. And then, like I say, I don't even know why I was visiting her, but in the scenario, she was f familiar to me. So she was like an acquaintance or something. And then I sat down with her over on the couch and then I saw a cat and I was like, wow, that you have a cat that looks just like Truman, like my cat Truman. And it looked, it was not Truman, but it looked uh, like 95% identical to Truman. And I, th I thought that was kind of cool that she had a cat that looked just like Truman. And, um, okay, so there was that part and then that part and then we were in the pub. And then, um, the other part, and like I say, like, uh, it was my mom, my sister. Okay, and then the other part, we ended up at a restaurant. And, and I do remember, you know, having conversations with my mom and my sister. I can't remember if I had a conversation with my dad, but I did have conversations with my mom and my sister. Sister. And then, um, and we were at a big table. And I was asking, uh, well, I was telling the, uh, the, the, the waitress, um, I was asking her questions about foods and stuff. And I told her I couldn't really eat anything anyway. Because, you know, I can't really, I can't really, in real life, I can't eat wheat corn or rice and that's pretty much everything and you, you know you can't really eat anything I mean cuz and anyway so I anyway but I I mean like I wanted to and she wanted to serve me but I told her you know I really couldn't because you know, can't really trust what food people are giving you I mean even if they gave you a steak you can't really trust that because um you know I don't know what kind of sp spices or salt they're putting on it could be tainted with gluten and um uh, so anyway, so, uh, but like I say, through, you know, this scenario, oh my God, the whole scenario lasted like, uh, but I'm trying to, I'm trying, trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, but the whole scenario lasted like, uh, um, oh man, at least, I don't know, six, seven hours, you know, non 3d time. And, um, but yeah, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some, some small little parts, but uh, but yeah, basically, you know, I, I was really cool. Yeah, and even as, as we started driving um, down really fast, down like north, we'll pretend like that's north. Um, I was just like, I was just like, wow, there's just so many people, so many cars. I was looking at all the people and the cars. And it was just very busy, 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 busy. But the significant building that I was staring at was that school. And, um, and like I said, I'm sure I forgot some little parts. Um, but but that's okay. But anyway, I remember most of it. I, I mean, most all of it. And um, okay, so basically that was it to New York City. And like I say, there there's been five other times that they took me to New York City in the past ten years. You know, via OBE. And uh, yeah, okay, so uh, um, oh yeah, and then the, the other scenario a couple of days ago. Um, I, I was talking to the aliens, and I was like, um. Uh, I was rambling off some cities to take me to or whatever. And they took me to Maine. Well, that's because I already had Maine on the brain because my, my, my uncle, my millionaire uncle that I really like and love, he, um, died. Um, he was 87 and he died. And so I was looking um, at the, the, the funeral on the internet, the live funeral or whatever services or whatever. And he was talking about Maine because he used to, um, well, he didn't live there long, a uh, couple years, I think. It was too cold for him. That's why they moved back down to Texas because he was in the Air Force in real life. But uh, that's why he didn't stay in long, it seemed like, because he didn't want to be in a cold environment like that. But that's where he met my aunt, Elaine, because she was from Maine. And then they forever moved to Texas and been living in Texas forever. But she's still alive. But anyway, so I had Maine on the brain. Okay, so in this scenario, um, it wasn't a really long, long scenario, but non-3D time, it probably lasted uh, an hour or two. And I know that Alien was kind of copying off of that Stephen King. Oh shit, what was it called? It, no, not Tommy Knockers. It was that other one. Damn it, I can't think of what it's called now. He was copying off that last Stephen King movie that I just watched several months ago. Crap, I can't remember what it's called. 
But it wasn't Tommy. That was a stupid one. I didn't like that one. Tommy knockers. I didn't even understand it. Stupid. I didn't under I mean, it wasn't Tommy knockers. It was that other one that I saw. Uh, oh man, what was it? I thought it was called. It was still called something like knobbers or something. Bald knobbers or something. Um, so it wasn't Tommy knockers. It was the other one. The the bald knobbers or something like that. It wasn't bald knobbers, but I'll just say that because I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, and um, so the, the alien was kind of copying off of that because the, the people kept getting in the airplane and they were supposed to go over here to this town, but they went back to another town instead. I know the alien was trying to copy off of that in my brain. And so basically, okay, so the alien took me to, uh, well, took me to Maine or was taking me to Maine, but we never got to Maine. And basically... It was me and about four other guys. They uh, they were like friends or acquaintances, and they looked about 30, 35. And, um, and, I, and, uh, and as far as I remember, some of them were familiar to me, but now I can't remember who they were. Okay, uh, I mean, I recognize them and everything. Okay, so, so basically we were in the airplane, and we all were heading towards Maine. I mean, that's wh wh where we were all going was to Maine, every single one of us. And, okay, so, and this is kind of funny, the pilot, so the pilot finally, you know, the pi pilot was flying, and um, several times, well, when we were flying, this is all virtual reality, we were in motion and everything, just like in the New York City, it was total, you know, total action pack, you know, when we were flying down the road in the truck, and in Maine, okay, so we were going along in the airplane really, really fast, except we kept staying just millimeters, well, actually millimeters above the tombstone tombstones oh that's why the alien put the cemetery thing in there because um you know i had that on the brain well not really a cemetery but i i had been watching the funeral and shit so and i'm sure i did have a thought of a cemetery and crap i mean i know i did and so that's why the aliens put that in there because or or that you know the alien i mean put that in there or whatever because well basically started out we we were flying really really fast but we were just a few feet above the ground, like th uh, three and a half feet above the ground. And I kept thinking, why are we so low to the ground? And I kept looking down out the window and I, I was noticing how we were just millimeters above the tombstones, these normal tombstones that were three, we were going across a, a cemetery. And these tombstones were just three, you know, the normal tombstones, three feet by two feet tall a normal tombstone or whatever. And I was looking down and I could see all these tombstones and we were just millimeters. I mean, we were in a commercial airplane and we were just flying. He was flying us really, really fast, just millimeters above the tombstones. And I was like, you know, like, he's stupid. Like, when are we going to go up higher? But he was, anyway, in the scenario, he was an organic portal. <laughs> and I, I even knew it. I had that thought on the brain. And okay, so as we were flying, as we were flying along the tombstones, eventually he showed me, uh, he showed me what he looked like, this organic portal uh, uh, pilot. He showed me what he looked like. And he turned around and looked at us all, and I was looking at him. And he, he had this, like, snarky, smirky snarl on his face, like, mm -hmm, like this evil organic portal look on his face, like this ornery look on his face. He had, he was kind of bald, but he kind of had light yellowish, goldish hair on the sides. But he basically was bald. He looked about 55, and he was a white man. And, um... Kind of had a, kind of had, you know, it was blue eyes, bright, uh, you know, he, he, he was very fair, complected, very, very, very fair, kind of pinkish skin, you know, because he was so fair. And he just, he turned around and kept giving us like this evil look, like, like, no, I'm not taking you guys to Maine. I'm taking, he said he was going to break us off, take two of us to Maine and the other people like to Georgia. And I'm like, we're all supposed to go to Maine. But he was being an organic portal and being an asshole. And um, so that part was kind of funny. We never did make it to Maine. But this was all like kind of a short experience. And it was action packed. Because we were on the airplane, you know, really fast. Going really fast. And that was all fun and everything. Okay, and then finally, um, we were supposed to like, he was about to take us, we were supposed to take off, you know, properly, you know, off of a runway. Properly. And then over to the left, over to the left, uh, I guess off to the, wherever the cemetery was, where we were flying, 
I saw the runway where he was about to take us down the runway, but it wasn't really a runway. It was just a very, uh, almost like, um, it was grass. It was like a grassy, almost like as if it was a golf course or like part of a golf course or something, you know, very meticulous grass. And it was down, it went down, it, you know, a steep incline. And he was about to take us, uh, yeah, I can't remember if we actually went, uh, if, if I saw, I can't remember if he actually did take us down that runway or not, but, um, cause I can't remember that part, but he, um, but, but we first started off flying really fast, you know, in the, in the commercial airline, just millimeters above all the tombstones. And then finally it got to the point where, you know, he basically was going to take us down the proper runway to take off. And when I looked over to the left, it was just this meticulous grassy area with a steep incline with, it was very, you know, pretty grass and everything. And, um, I can't remember if I saw any trees to the left and to the right or not, but I, I but I still, I was thinking in my head, like, like this isn't a proper runway. And like I said, I can't remember if we finally, I think we maybe did go, but anyway, like I said, the alien kind of, sometimes they just, they just give you half-ass experiences. And this was just kind of a half-ass experience, but it was still, you know, fun. But that was one, that was my experience to Maine. And then the first one in New York City. And then, um, this third one, shit, man, I remember every detail of it. It's probably going to take too long. Uh, I think I'll make that into another video. Um, let's see. Yeah, because that's, that's probably going to take too long because I kind of remember every detail of that one still, even though that was three or four days ago. Yeah, so I'll talk about that. And that was basically to my trip to Kansas City, but it was really cool, very clear. I, again, sometimes I'll tell them, give me experience where, where it's very detailed and intricate, and I remember every single little intricate detail. And man, they will. And this one, I pretty much remember all the details. But um, yeah, I'll talk about that one in another video. Thanks for listening.